back again to new video this sampati watching sampat sam fx edition poco fx sum rom reviews rising os which was earlier rise right if you remember that and rising os version 3.1 now it has been evolving right away 5 may 2024 is the secret patch 1st april 2024 is the vendor security patch kernel using here is 5.1.0 sorry 5.10.209 zk kernel has been used and build date is may 21st which is latest build available for poco f at the redmi note 12 turbo you can see the android 14 logo here this is typical home screen what we can get in this particular room and these are the quick settings toggles we can get in the edit option there are few more options if you want to add them you can drag and add them for example i want to add this dolby by xiaomi parts just add here it is going to use here and ui wise it is smooth definitely responsive I also see the animation how it looks like you can directly boot into recovery from here on this other settings panel and this is minus one screen and dialer event this is the dialer direct video call feature is available call recording feature is there but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call but there is option just enable this once you enable that you will get output directory to select and output format also you can choose from here and disable battery optimization and write metadata file those options are given here you just enable that you will get call recording without announcing other person's camera application again you get video mode 4k 30 no 60 and this is hyper s camera without like integration guys basic camera you will get everything working fine if you want to use any g cam ports you can check out my channel there are two videos lmc and agc camera installation check out that and I've been using this particular ROM from couple of days now using Clash of Clans, Geo Cinemas and some browsing here and there. And I even tried BGMI. And I didn't like this gallery applications. If you can see settings, it will not show anything here. I simply want to uninstall this gallery applications. If I go into here, yeah, disable that and use Google Photos or any gallery application. Again, this file manager also. I didn't liked it I uh, using my files here we'll show some results here starting with the geekbench 3113 is a single score 4089 is a multi score links 5.10.209 zki kernel has been used and 10 lakhs 29,263 is a score in anti to version is 10.2.5 i'm using and this is how cpu gpu memory ux scores 5.9 degrees celsius is the temperature rise and five percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and again this shift in status might get fail but in the settings you need to enable that i will be saying within a while and after enabling that you will get everything passed here but still device is not certified and this is how the uh, dolby vision certification and this is l1 certification and these are read write speeders with numericals and graphical and this is internet speed connection using wi-fi and this is with 5g or uh, using for a couple of time it will get higher scores and charging speeds during 440 it was 40 percent it is showing slowing slow charge but after 443 it is showing 47 percent charging rapidly 5 1 pm it was around uh, the percentage around 80 percent that's how the charging speeds and all we'll go into settings here you get some customizations regarding that personalized lock screen customization again you get colors and widget custom color selection and custom clock style and even the font size you can select from here depth wallpaper options are given here you'll get plenty of options here too battery information the user switcher if you want you can do weather settings again you get plenty and you can check out these are the settings you get in the themes again ambient display you get options here edge lighting options is also there i can pack these font style and monet settings everything is as similar as any other custom rom here everything is working fine status bar also you can change it from here clock style network traffic monitor and uh, 4G and other options you can check out on the screen logo and you can position them different types of logos are also available battery style again there are plenty top padding padding options are also given here left and right padding also given and 
setting style signal again so setting style also you will get different material us style there are some customization regarding user interface toolbox here you get buttons again there are plenty of customization full screen animations and game space again if you want to add bgma kind of gameplay you will get option to choose performance mode and this one enable gm spoof once you enable this then device will get uh, sorry safety and status will get passed device is not getting uh, passed anyhow so it's not certified and unlock ifs games and three finger screenshot you can assign different options here smart pixels and unlimited photo storage is available into notifications again you get plenty of customizations here too and sound customizations you get this type of customization now moving into actual settings like battery again you get all these options here you can check out battery life is also good in my opinion and coming into sound and vibration again you get all the basic things here do not disturb mode is given and vibration haptic feedback and the patterns are given dolby atmos you get plenty of options using the wired earphones you might good get good output here even with some dual stereo speakers i haven't faced any issues call drop anything like that i haven't faced any issues as of now on security and privacy you get both face and fingerprint unlock and there is a app locker also pre-install let me show you the fingerprint unlock speeds you can see and this is a face unlock as you can see it's very much fast to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlock and i haven't faced any issues regarding that too and ui is really really good guys wallpaper and style again lock screen customizations are going to you need to update this and home screen again you get more wallpapers all the wallpapers have been pre-included here upgrade you get up to five into five and location google maps everything is working fine I haven't faced any issues regarding that too and gestures if i can go here yeah navigation mode you get both the option to increase the pill length and radius here and some of the other options you can check out on the screen overall it's a good rom i haven't faced any issues as of now it is smooth and responsive it was really a surprise for me i was not thinking that smooth experience with this rising is but it is smoother than what you can expect let's see the bgm and end of this video coming to graphics settings again you will get the smooth plus extreme options here this is how the volume panel looks like and this is all the quick settings toggle and notifications will appear here and app active status you can check out from here let's see how it actually handles initially it will be laggy only a little bit the update has to be pushed uh, from bgmi still it hasn't been received for users very soon we will be getting update for bgmi then the gaming experiments may be going to be better or sometimes even it may be worse also you need to keep in mind all these things guys these things matters again not just if you change the rom or if you have very good internet connection you are not going to get good gameplay sometimes the game optimization also plays very much uh, crucial here and as of now the gaming experience is fine in this rom you guys can see no lag whatsoever it is giving me the smooth 90 fps and i heard that pubg mobile is coming with 120 fps now we'll check that once it is completely available for all the devices and working fine then only i can test that don't make anything hurry and use models and use 120 fps once it is available then only you can use don't be always hurry as uh, be in patience and you will be getting very good output and you can check out my channel there are plenty of videos guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button i really felt this rom as a good alternative for good rom i can say and it is really good ram management is also really really good app opening times and everything is i haven't faced any issues in this particular rom guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now